Hey everyone, I'm attempting to build an aluminum can shredder so that I can shred the uh, aluminum cans that I have out by the side of the house, which I have quite a few, so I'm trying to make it a little bit less unsightly. And then eventually that should make it more efficient so I can uh, melt them down into aluminum ingots so I can cast later. Um, so far, I have. See it. It's a fellows, I don't remember what brand it is, or uh, what model, maybe this will help. Uh, focus. It might be upside down, but uh, yeah, anyway, it's a fellows. It's a 6 amp, 120 volt shredder. Uh, obviously, I took the screws out of the bottom there to lift it off. And there's a top plate that has two screws with a little sliding thing, which I already threw away, but um, that one you can leave on, you can take off. I mean, you're going to cut around it anyway. As you can see here, I've already unscrewed it, but um, here it is. Uh, obviously, it's a little beefier, I guess, than most. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Um, but uh, I haven't pulled off the board yet, um, the circuit board. But, and I'm about to because I'm about to cut it, but... Uh, Looks like I really. Hold on. Right, so so far, what I've done is there are. Let me set this on here for you. There are little nylon guide guide rails or plastic, whatever it is. Now, I took these two off, and they have these little metal. I don't know what I did with them now, but they are the same as these guide rails right here. They actually screw in right there and there. And basically, they hold the, the top part in. I'm going to try and run it without it because I don't think I need it. Um, as you can see, one side is plastic, one side is metal. And they've got these little rubber uh, bushings or uh, uh, vibration dampers, I guess, would be better. Better name for them. Um, there we go. Focus. So, yeah. Um, I took that off. It looks like, I mean, this is still solid where it's at, so I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to open up the top there. As you see, I kind of lined it out, so it'll kind of be in the middle, hopefully, of the, uh, the shredders in that way. I can just go ahead and put a can there and see if it'll crush it. It says it can take 14 pages at a time, so we'll see what it can do with an aluminum can. Since they're so small and uh, aluminum is a little bit uh, easier to work with than steel, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. It has its own waste bucket and everything, so it actually should work pretty well. And then I plan to later get like a, a three inch pipe of some kind and just compress it. Not a whole lot, but enough to where I can, you know, get a, a little solid shape out of it, cylindrical. And that way I bought a crucible, so all I have to do is, uh, you know, maybe load up the crucible um, and my, uh, my little foundry there. Oh, there's a crucible in it. And uh, yeah, see if I can melt it down without having to take the top off. Which that was a real quick top. My other one is broken, so I just wanted to do it to concentrate the heat. And I still have to get the uh, adapters and other pipe fittings so I can uh, hook it up to the propane. Because charcoal works, but for one thing, you have to keep re uh, re adding it, and two, it makes a big mess. It just the stuff goes everywhere, and you can get it in your eyes and. Um, you can get the, the parts that are still burning, obviously they're, they're big, well they're a fire hazard, but they can also ruin your clothes. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, Alright, here's a quick check. Turn it on. Put the switch for the door. And it runs, which is good. The only thing this had in it was a little, uh, oh look at that, you can see it. Ooh, it's uh, ultraviolet because I can't see without that, without the uh, camera. That's pretty awesome. Um, anyhow, that's <clears throat> just, it's a light sensing circuit that uh, for paper when it breaks the when it trips the light or breaks the breaks the receiver, which is this one right here, and stops receiving light on this end. It knows there's paper in there, and that's when it runs. So with it both being out, because obviously I cut the piece off that houses them, uh, it'll just always run. So, yeah, it's awesome. Anyhow, um, also what I have to do, because when this runs, obviously there's other moving parts, and now that these are loose, I have to tie them down. So I'm just gonna 
probably get a zip tie and uh, I got plenty of them obviously but um yeah I'm gonna zip tie it all together and put it all back together so we can try this out all right if you'd like to copy it here's where I put my zip tie is I tied one here on the nylon uh, whatever this is called um, actually I tied two of them here to hold this so it didn't doesn't hit the fan blades when this is spinning and obviously the uh, teeth are more exposed and that's what I'm trying to keep it away from um, there's the uh, original light which I just here's a here's another tie I just the light sensor and the light the UV light I, uh, I crisscrossed and zip tied right there so that's it all right and here's a little bit of what I can do it's kind of one-handed here I just have to crush it one side so it'll grab it Throwing stuff at me. Oops. There it goes. Alright. This has a really big hands that it has a problem with, but uh, it seems to be doing pretty good. Maybe I don't have to do anything with it. Alright. Like butter. Come on. Come on. Looks like I could probably make that the uh, mouth a little wider, but it's it's pulling through, so I'm not so worried about it. And all I do is I crush it and make one end just enough so it can go through, and it's gone. And as you can see, in the few I've done, I'll pull some of it out for you. Oh, it's sharp. Yeah, it doesn't totally annihilate the can, but it makes enough to where I can uh, compress it into something else to make it more efficient. 